Tonight, it started as an injury, then escalated into something much worse. I found him laying on his floor and his head on his pillow, and uh, it's a nightmare. The medicine doctors prescribed her son that got him hooked on heroin. By now, we've heard the statistics. Heroin use is an epidemic across the country. Kids are getting hooked every day, and people affected by addiction told Cairo 7's Michelle Millman, it's time we take action. In July of 2011, Evan Block was on a longboard in South Everett and was hit by a car. He broke his elbow. It was just a month before his 16th birthday. With the surgery, he was prescribed um, Percocet and refilled Percocet and that is how his addiction started. Tracy Pegg is Evan's mom and now makes it her mission to raise awareness about addiction. Just a month after Evan's accident, she says he became an addict. It was like having the devil on your back. When his prescriptions ran out, Evan started buying pain pills. When that got too expensive, he turned to something that gave him the exact same high, heroin. It was $5 and more addictive. You don't know if you'll be an addict until you actually try something. And that's what happened to Anthony Curcio. The Monroe athlete was playing football at the University of Idaho and blew out his knee in 2000. Curcio, whose identity was wrapped up in being an athlete, was crushed. That emptiness was completely filled in as soon as I was introduced to Vicodin. Within three months, he was hooked, and soon Curcio was doctor shopping for new prescriptions. I care about you guys not making the choices that I made that put me there. Like Tracy Pegg, Curcio makes it his mission to educate the community about opiate addiction. He tells kids and adults his addiction got so bad he once bashed his foot into a coffee table to get pain meds. I got 20 pills. How long did that last me? One day. At that point, one day. But Curcio would sink even lower to feed his habit. Chopper 7 covered this breaking news of an armored truck robbery in September 2008. The culprit had maced the guard, got away with cash, and escaped in an inner tube down the Skykomish River. It was Anthony Curcio. The amount of wreckage I created in my life, I'm still dealing with. Uh, other people in my family are still dealing with it. His wife Emily stuck by him, and his girls, ages six and eight now, were too young to know what really happened. Curcio did five years in prison. According to the Drug Enforcement Administration, prescription drug use is the nation's fastest growing drug problem, and many who first abused prescription opioids turned to heroin, and users are getting younger. I couldn't get his door unlocked, and I just, I knew. Evan Block was just 18 the morning his mom couldn't wake him. It's a nightmare. It's something that you never get that image out of your head. Every day I see that image. But that painful image compels Tracy to speak out today, reminding us that behind every addiction story is a real family. Michelle Millman, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Tracy wants doctors to adopt stricter narcotics policies, especially regarding children. She also wants to push insurance companies to cover more detox and treatment programs.